everybody and welcome back to the channel um, this is going to appear to be really rapid and quick but I wanted to get the actual cleaning part of it out the way um, so the video is not too long and I can get down the Spencer arms and show you the result of a beer clean glass so while Janie unloads the gusto I'm going to show you very quickly beer clean glasses how I do it right okay so here they are so clean sterilized bucket right hot water messy in here a sponge has never been anywhere other than there. Some nice hot water. Bicarbonated soda. A clean spoon. Ish. So, bit of bicarbonate soda in there, stick a bit of salt in there, get it in this water, get it in the water, get out of the way, salt, give it a good old. Now, just try not to get your fingers, I know really you should have some, if you, if you put some gloves on, um, so you, you don't want any of your fingers, greasy fingers, I mean obviously I'm on the outside, but the beer ain't going on the outside, is it? Otherwise that would be a fail. Uh, so really get round the rim, don't be afraid to like shove some of this stuff in. Um, good old sacks of salt, fine. Give it, get plenty in there, look. Like that. Okay, you can go around the outside. But it's always, so basically you're not putting any washing up liquid, you're not putting them in the dishwasher. Um, there's no, because the washing up liquid leaves, as clean as you, you get it, it leaves like a film on it. Uh, get it in that salty water, get it swirled around, really hot water. Make sure you really, really rinse this round. Get it rinsed round. Please ignore the state of the kitchen. In a couple of years' time, it'll look a lot better than this. Um, nice hot water. Jobs are good and sparkly, sparkly. Put it on the side to drain. Fill it with beer. Now, just underneath here as well, here's the star sand lot, star sand. So that is what you use to sterilize everything, buckets, whatever, any any stuff. But I'm not gonna go into that. It's, it really is good, but literally ignore what anybody says, wear gloves with it, because my hands are builder's hands, although I wear gloves a lot now, so they're quite soft and succulent. Um, so yeah, really read the instructions, do not overdo it. Um, it really will um, cause you a bit of problem if you don't do this correctly. It ain't to be messed about with. Um, so yeah, but that's what I sterilize everything with. Um, yeah, so there you go. I shall uh, pour a beer in that glass um, and show you what I mean. So, uh, back down the cabin, I'm going to grab myself. These have been down there, so these are nice and dry now. Um, now, I'm sure I'm going to get a few people mention about, well, you know, you, you're washing them in salt and bicarbonated soda and whatever. You're going to get some remnants of salt left on these. Well, salt's quite powerful in its taste, isn't it? Now, I'm not licking the inside of the glass for obvious reasons, but... Now, because I've used really, really hot water. I mean, I know my hands are quite good with uh, water. Um, so plenty of swelling, plenty of, but put it this way, when you wash your glasses in washing up liquid, um, you're left with remnants of washing up liquid on here. No matter how much you rinse it, you're left with um, deposits from that. Um, so yes, so this for me, now ideally, I've spoke to a few people, you can have a separate little dishwasher and just literally wash uh, the glasses without um, any of the tablets in there. Just purely run it through a hot wash, just use, letting the salt just do its job. But using the dishwasher only for glasses, because even though we run our dishwasher quite clean, we don't throw loads of crap in it, we'll rinse the plates off and things like that. Um, you still... 
you still will get it. Well, anyway, <clears throat> so the reason that um, the carbonation or the CO2 bubbles stick to the inside of the glass is because of deposits. The idea is, is they want to get in the glass, they want to climb up the glass and form the head of the beer uh, to protect the beer from oxygen underneath. Um, the idea of the widget or the, uh, oh, I can't think of the nitro bottle or whatever, is the CO2, um, the bubbles group together on the widget and it makes them rise up. Um, now, obviously, like, you know, so when you, this is why it's good to pour your beer fairly hard. I've learnt this, especially with lagers and things. You know, to pour it hard, to aggravate, to, to break out that CO2, to allow it to climb up the glass, to form the head of the beer, which is, like I say, designed to protect the beer from its worst enemy, oxygen. What we breathe, what we live with. So, without further ado... I've got my weapon of choice. I needed something that I know is going to have some carbonation um, rattling around in it, that's going to throw some bubbles around. Um, so um, I was, I've been allowed to come down to do this while they're getting ready up, up there because we're going out, we're going to Turtle Bay um, for something to eat and a few beers. So I thought, more well, cocktails, but I thought I'll have something good. So, Utopian Bohemian British Lager, this is banging, banging. You've seen, uh, I think I've done a video of this before. So we've got to get this poured in this glass. I mean, like, I should, oh, it wants to get out, look. It wants to get out. So we know we've got some carbonation going now on here. Right, so look, let's get this hard. Probably not too hard. Oh, a little bit too hard, maybe. So, oh, it's probably a tiny little bit too cold. <laughs> so, I wanted to get something with some carbonation bubbles rising. I thought this would have it, but it ain't. But, anyway, there is carbonation in there. Well, bonus, I get to drink this and then try it. Oh, there, now you see, right, I'm going to show you this, right? Now, right. So, basically... It is a bit, it is a bit hazy. I think just this beer, uh, this lager does lend itself to being a little bit hazy anyway. Um, it might be a little bit hazy uh, because it's it's really it's really cold. It's quite cold, uh, but it's lovely. Um, so anyway, what I want to show you, all right? So if you look on this glass now, you can see nothing other than condensation. Look. There is nothing on the side of that glass at all. Now, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to just let that settle for a minute and I'm going to pour some more in it. And what you'll see, you'll see the um, the bubbles go down and just shoom, straight back up because they've got nowhere else to go. They only want to go in that lovely white um, foam there. They don't want to go anywhere else on that glass because there's nothing on that glass that is allowing them bubbles to stick to. That's why you can't see any bubbles on the side of that glass. Right, so here we go, look. So this is now settled down. Now watch, when I pour this in, you're gonna watch the bub you're gonna watch it crash in, and you're gonna watch the bubbles straight back up, okay? Hopefully, I can't look at the screen while I do this. Here we go. There they are, look, and they're just chasing that head instantly. Look, look, boom. Can you see that? I hope you've seen that. I really hope you did see that. Um, I'm going to have a sip out of this because cheer, <laughs> cheers, everybody. My lips might start to put a bit of crap in the glass, but anyway. Oh, oh that is banging. So, again, watch. Let's just hope that, let's just get the... Um, condensation off this glass so important to have your glasses clean i mean i don't get me wrong jane is probably washed we'll wash the glasses um you know a bit of washing up liquid or whatever and rinse them off or put them in the dishwasher and that and then they'll they'll come down here and then i'll be like oh crikey i should have um i should have given them a beer clean so here we go watch again i mean this i really wanted a really clear beer show so watch again right i hope this works Right, 
they just look oh look at that you can see it straight up to the top boom in fact that's magical to look at that right all the way to look right the way to the bottom all the way to the top nothing is hanging around that glass anywhere that's condensation let me just wipe the glass nothing is on the side of that glass that is a beer clean glass now please bear in mind salt anything you can see that's condensation right cheers everybody cheers right just bear in mind you've got to have a you've got to have a clean bowl bucket purely dedicated to one job so get that um star sand um get it um get the bucket pristine and clean get a brand new out the packet sponge every time even though i've used that um today it's really good to sort of probably just or, or put it in put it no no i don't know I, I i do do no the the the, the, the dirt chip, or even like rip one in half but just make sure when you're in there you're not getting your fingers um on it so yeah clean sponge every time just the cheapest ones you can find um and um and just make sure that your water's hot and then when you rinse it you give it a really 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 good rinse and when you rinse it you've got to get it upside down and you've got to get it draining out but not you've got to allow it's got to be able to drain it can't just sit down and, and not have any of the water come out and then that will give you a beer clean glass but the, but salt if you don't rinse your glasses right you're going to get salt debris on there you're going, you're going to so look that looks as if but it's not trust me it's condensation look that's the clearest there is nothing going on if i drink this and I'll swirl this round, get all that line, get it all going, get it all doing what it wants to do, look. It's just chasing back, watch, chasing back up to that head. It's got nowhere to cling to on the glass because it's clean. So, yes, yeah, so the reason I've done this is a few people have asked um, about how I clean the glasses. There's many, 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 many ways of doing it. Many YouTube videos that I've watched. But I simply think, no, and even when, even when um, I finish this beer, I don't wash it. I wouldn't wash it in um, wash up liquid first, then the salt. I rinse it out. Oh, I'll just I'll just leave it here and take ten to twelve glasses up. Rinse rinse them all out, and that's the only product I use to clean it. No detergents, no nothing, um, and and it just chases the head all day long get them bubbles going again look get them going again where's it want to go it wants to chase back and that and that's also one of the reasons why you get a better head retention as well because if your glass is clean your bubbles are doing what your, your, your co2 release is doing exactly what it's meant to do it's meant to chase up back up the glass and form that nice head that protects the beer what i ought to have done really i should have had a dirty glass <laughs> to show the difference so i wonder if i've got see i don't want to waste that i want to show you this first so i wonder if i can create a dirty glass just a little one maybe you're probably going to see like a slight tear in my eye if you look carefully because in order to show you what I'm talking about, I've had to sacrifice some of this beer. You should be able to really see every sip of beer um, with a beer clean glass. But because I've just poured that out into a dirty glass, I, I'm sorry the guys at uh, Utopian Brewery You've took one for the team here. So straight away, all I've got to do is pick this glass up. And what are we seeing on this glass? Oh my life. See what I'm talking about? That is not a beer clean glass. That 
Them bubbles are just clinging. It's flat. Look. I'm spilling it. Flat. Terrible. Clinging to the side of the glass. That. Now, basically, right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, right, so this side of the glass, so I've, this this has been washed in a bit of washing up liquid and rinsed and everything else, right? Um, so basically this side of the glass, I've literally rubbed my fingers in it, right? Uh, and then the other side of the glass, I've physically, purposely got a little bit, a tiny little bit of butter on my hand, not too much. I just sort of rubbed it in and then rubbed it and wiped it out as much as I can. And that's the result, lot. That's a dirty glass. Same beer. Look what it's done to it. Look what it's done. It's it's gone. It's flat. It's it's literally it's it's completely flattened the beer that has. I mean, this is an over exaggerated dirty glass, okay. Right. But the beer is literally ruined in this little uh Desirano glass. So there you go. The importance of I'm not 100 percent sure um what I should be doing is finding out the exact reason. But all I know is the bit look, I mean look, no matter what I do with that now, I can swizzle that around as much as I can bang it on the surface. Look, I can try any, anything in my power, spill it all over the bar, anything in my power to try and get some sort of head on that. Nothing. So the fact that that them bubbles are all just sat there on the side, clinging to the side there. Basically, I think they're just attaching to like proteins and things, you know. Um, grease from your fingers, lipstick, anything, anything that's in that glass. Um, and that beer died for this experiment. For me to bring you that video, rest in peace, half a can of this, because that beer took one for the team. Fair play, fair play. Um, so yeah, if you think that that is a good method of cleaning your glass and keeping your beer pristine, then I thank you. If you don't, then please put in the comments how you would clean the glass, um, because I'm really interested for different ideas, because sometimes um, if you do it and you don't, you don't rinse it out. I mean, I thought about even using like rubber gloves and things, but I'm not sure whether the salt um, or the bicarb would, would actually take something off the surface of the glove. So the way I do it is I just make sure my hand doesn't come in contact with the glass. It's always the sponge. And use one like a um, scoury sponge as well, but one, one that's like a non-scratch one. Um, you can get them where they're, they're scoury, but they're non-scratch. Um, so that protects your sort of glasses as well. But look, you know, we've still got that just clinging on, hanging around all the way around the edge. Is that condensation? Yeah, it's condensation on the outside. Um, oh, it's a baby white sort of thing. So but anyway, right, waffling on. There you go. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry for uh, taking a long while to, to get this video up to you. Um, but yeah. Thank you for, to Utopian for producing a fantastic uh, Bohemian British Lager. Absolutely brilliant. Um, sorry that you had to take one for the team. Take care, everybody, and I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> there you go. Um, have I finished yet? I'm not sure. Give me a minute. <laughs> just to conclude, I want to say, so I'm all ready to go out now. Um, but I've just raced back down here because I've I, I just suddenly thought, you know what? I think some of my beer reviews or some of the beer talks I've done, I have probably have sort of gone, oh, there's a few bubbles in the glass. Um, so here I am doing a video about beer clean glasses um, and I've been guilty of having not beer clean glasses. <laughs>
So yeah, so this doing this video alone has made me realise when I was watching this beautiful lager bounce into that glass and go and come up, it's really made me realise that Spenno, I am not having another beer in any glass ever again unless it's beer clean. Because when I had the Leather Bridges Porter, it laced that glass, literally it left a complete cream all the way down. When I've done my Guinness video, I have, I don't think, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I think that was before I even realized so many different methods of trying to clean the glass. And then I found this one and I forgot. So I'm gonna try Guinness in it again with my new, with my, my well, it's not new, uh, but with this method of cleaning, cleaning the glasses. So yes, yeah, so uh, I think we can all hold our hands up and say we're quite guilty of having clean glasses, but not beer clean glasses. Um, so yeah, it's so important. And it's so important as well to, you know, with lagers and things, yeah, well, with a lot of things, a lot of beers, it's really important to you break out that CO2. You gotta break it out. Uh, you want it in the glass, you want it chasing up. I think that's why the IPA glasses are the shape they are, because as you sip it and it goes back down, it rolls around and it makes it twirl and break it out and keep the head retention. So yeah, so literally break out that CO2. I've learned from uh, various, watching various videos and things that, you know, pour it quite hard. Don't worry about having a big head. Uh, it's there to do a job. And then with your, your clean glasses, it will hold that head retention all the time so um so yeah anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm sure i've repeated myself several times but that's what it is so hashtag spano waffle um yeah there we go <laughs> take care everybody um keep safe and well and enjoy the beer